Hello everyone. Today we will learn the topic computer and its parts. Tanya, take this chart and name the important parts of your body. You, I have done it. Tanya, you see your body has many parts. Just like your body, every machine is made up of some parts as computer is also a machine it also has different parts yeah the computer has four important parts monitor keyboard cpu mouse these are the most significant parts of a computer the monitor mouse keyboard are connected to cpu in order to function all of them together make a computer system it needs electrical power to run sometimes we can connect a speaker and a printer also with it now let's understand in detail cpu CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It is called brain of a computer. Just as our brain helps us to remember things and think, the CPU helps computer to remember things. Thus it does calculations and stores information. CPU is always kept inside a box which is known as cpu box cpu is further divided into three parts these are alu control unit memory unit monitor monitor looks like a tv screen you can see pictures and movies on a monitor it displays results it also displays the instructions given by keyboard and mouse on the screen monitor is also called as video video stands for visual display unit we can view every result and instruction on it keyboard the keyboard has many keys on it the number of keys in a keyboard is 104. The keys are used to type or input information such as data, words, numbers, etc. into a computer. The keys with numbers are called number keys. The keys with letters are called the alphabet keys. There are 26 alphabet keys and 10 number keys on a keyboard. There are many more keys on the keyboard which has special functions. Mouse A mouse may have two or three buttons. It is always kept on a mouse pad. Mouse is used for selecting or pointing towards the icon display on the screen or monitor. Mouse is used for drawing, painting and playing games. Now let's understand the peripherals of a computer. There are some other parts which are connected to a computer to get other works. These parts are called peripherals of a computer. Printer. A printer is required to get a printout of the typed material that is letters, numbers and pictures on a paper. The text printed on a paper is known as hard copy. Commonly we use three types of printers. Inkjet printer, laser printer and third one is dot matrix printer 
speakers we need speakers to hear recorded sound music etc speakers can be attached to the computer scanner it helps in copy the pictures and documents and save it in the computer microphone in order to record voices in the computer microphones are required cd dvd pen drive cd stands for compact disc dvd stands for digital video versatile disc you can store information in a cd dvd pd stands for pen drive you can store information in a pen drive it is a small in size and easy to carry ups ups stands for uninterrupted power supply it protects a computer from electricity fluctuations it contains a battery in it which requires main supply to get charged web camera it is a small device you can capture the photos or images and save it in the computer it also used for video chatting so today we learn different parts so the main keywords are cpu monitor keyboard and mouse are the main parts of a computer cpu is the brain of a computer cpu has three parts alu control unit and a memory unit video stands for visual display unit monitor is a display unit keys of keyboard are used for typing cd stands for compact disc dvd stands for digital video or versatile disc i hope you enjoyed this video okay thanks for watching if you like my video